Yeah, give me the words and I got the flow. See, I don't gotta write, I got the Holy Ghost. <laughs> yeah, that's called a ghost writer. Jeremiah 5 and 14, that's so fire. Isaiah 14 and when I retire. Out of captivity, I broke the iron. Who that is coming out of Mount Zion? Woolly head, looking like a lion. A thousand men marching with no drums on, no trombone, just boots on. Which countries could be involved in World War III? All right, uh, read it again. I know that ain't what I got pulled up for. Which countries could be involved in World War Three? All right, uh, go ahead. Go to the next image. Read it. The world is experiencing its most volatile and dangerous moment in history amid growing fears of major escalations of regional wars. With Russia planning to attack Europe and the Israel-Hamas war turning into an all-out Middle East crisis, fears of World War III have ramped up oh, across read the that globe. Again? With Russia planning to attack Europe and the Israel-Hamas war turning into an all-out Middle East crisis, fears of World War III have ramped up across the globe. Now, let's see. Who's it that Damn. ain't got? Read that. Who's all them people that is, is talking about right now? Russia, on the Ukraine, Lebanon. Oh, well, well, with those, that's Russia, Ukraine. But look to the top left. Right. NATO. NATO. And, and you see NATO is all of America, Canada, of and most of them small European countries. That All of them are on the brink. Now read those in the red. Russia, Ukraine, Lebanon, Iran, Pakistan, China, North Korea, South Korea, Israel, India, Saudi Arabia, Taiwan. That's it. Oh, praise man. Give me that Joel uh chapter three. Cause that fear that they got is uh is correct. They should be That's right. Joel chapter three. I want you to read verse one. Let's read verse one and we're gonna jump. The book of Joel chapter three and verse one. Yeah. Yeah. For behold, in those days and in that time when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah. And Jerusalem. So we are going back to our homeland, thus saith the Lord, because God is not a man that he should lie. Go That's ahead. Right. I will also gather all nations. You're going to do what? Gather all nations. All those nations that we just saw that's on the brink. That's what God talked about. He's going to gather all nations. Go ahead. And will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. And the valley of Jehoshaphat. Who? Who says Jehoshaphat? Jeho Have y'all ever heard somebody say Jehoshaphat? Come cat. on, man. Don't be trying to be brand new. He's London. But we replace cat. your ass, too. <laughs> He's London. Great, replace them. You going to get replaced, too. <laughs> Read that again. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat, the valley, and will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage, Israel, whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land. So now the reason why the whole world is on a brink of war is not because they are upset with each other. It's because God is upset with them because they scattered us among the nations and then parted the land like he prophesied. That they would in the Bible. God already knew that they was going to do that. That that uh, Arabs and white people claiming to be Israelites, Jewish people, would move in there and split up the land. God already, because he right. called the end from the beginning. Man, Cap, yeah. Cap you got to know, you got to see that this is biblical because, like, you, you, you sitting here, you looking at Esau. He's posted up in the Red Sea yeah. right next right. to Yemen right, right now and right now and bombing the mess out of Gaza and then expect those other Arabs to sit there and just watch. Good right. Point. Good and point. Come on, man. And then once they attack you, you retaliate and then say, oh, but we don't want to extend the war to yeah, the other yeah, regions. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Stop. Nah, nah. Once that nah. thing far off. It's going to spread like wildfire because God already prophesied that that's going to happen. Watch. Jump over to verse 14. Bring it up. He said, gather all nations. Read that. Verse 14. Multitudes. Multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Multitudes. Multitudes. Many nations. The multitudes are all those nations. And they're not going over there for a church revival. <laughs> they are not right. eating God in right. the valley of Jehoshaphat so they can all praise the Lord and and have a spiritual revival. That's not what's going down. Jump back up to verse 9. 
Verse 9. Proclaim ye this among the Gentiles. Among those nations, those multitudes. Prepare war. Do what? Prepare this war. Is war. Prepare war. So any great beat though, all out, oh, we are ushering in the second coming of Jesus the Christ. Right. Let us all praise and let all, what does it say, Luke? Let all mankind uh, bless the Lord. Now, that's the, right. that's the Christian right. mindset of the Lord yeah. returning. Right. Yeah. Where he's coming back and it's going to be white fences and little yeah. lambs Good. and baskets yeah. and bunnies. Yeah. Nah. He that's coming the, back for what? Read that part again. <laughs> Prepare war. Prepare this is war. war. But, but it's a reason because they scattered the, us and part of the land, right? Now jump down to verse 13. Put ye in the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Uh -huh. Come, get you down, for the press is full, the fats overflow, uh -huh. for their wickedness is great. Their what? Their wickedness is great. God is ushering in all of those nations and have them on the brink of war because their wickedness is great. Now, mm -hmm. I know we jacked up as a people. Mm -hmm. right. We jacked up. But we ain't out here worshiping no damn dragons. No. Right. No, no year of dragon. Maybe some dudes that damn be watching anime. Y'all might be watching <laughs> doing that. That's we we ain't got no damn Krishnas. Uh, the stuff that them other nations do in secret that we are not privy to because we didn't grow up. We grew up under Christianity and there's the white man's thumb here. The stuff them other nations do and the stuff they eat, they that stuff is... That stuff that black we wouldn't even eat. Like they got a damn uh, dog festival over oh, in China. Oh man, China, shit! Yeah. Where they be killing dogs? They got uh, a, uh, what's it? It's, they got a flea market. It's, yeah, it's like a flea market where they got dog bodies uh, just hanging. Frogs, up. live frogs, all of that stuff, man. It's amazing, man. God, but it, even outside of that, their wickedness is great. And one of their wickedness they had was because they had scattered us. And they parted the land of God. Right. That's one of the evils right. that God said, I got to get their ass back for. Judgment's coming for that. Give me that in um, second Ezra real quick. And then we'll pull up at next point. All these nations are on the brink of war. And all of the nations are invited to World War Three. They are all invited. RSVP. First By class. God. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't got to wait in line. Come front, straight to the front. Front row. You VIP. Uh, Revelation, I mean, uh, second Ezra chapter 13, read one through five for him. Second Ezra chapter 13 and verse one. Yep. And it came to pass after seven days, I dreamed a dream by night. This is Ezra, the same of Ezra in the Bible that you read about. Go ahead. It's just the apocryphal book of his. Go ahead. And lo, there arose a wind from the sea, that it moved all the waves thereof. And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong. That man waxed strong. That man is Jesus the Christ. This is his second coming. Edwards is seeing World War Three in a vision from God. Read on. With the thousands of heaven. With the who? The thousands of heaven. I want to start right there when it's talk about thousands of heaven. Mm. Because Christ, although that he's going to do a lot of the killing by himself, he is, he, God rose, Jesus rose with an entourage. She rose <laughs> deep. There ain't no entourage that you have ever seen by an NBA player, a rapper, a damn movie artist, no dude from the hood that is as deep as Jesus Christ entourage when he come back, man. Give me that in Matthew chapter 24. Now, cause I want to, I want to show you who are those thousands from the heavens. And we've been seeing them all over the earth for centuries. But they're going to show up. They're going to come out of that moon, and they're going to be right here in your face. Matthew 24, read 29 down to 31. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 29. Immediately after the tribulation of those days shall the sun be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. Uh -huh. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. That's all 12 tribes. Go ahead. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. What kind of power? Go ahead. And he shall send his angels. So all of those thousands of the heavens are angels. Go ahead. With a great sound of a trumpet. And they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Go back to Second Ezra chapter 13. So those thousands from the heaven, we got a name for them. Those are the angels. Read verse 3 again. Second Ezra chapter 13 and verse 3. And I beheld and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven. 
And when he turned his countenance to look, all the things trembled that were seen under him. Now, let's get another one on those thousands of heaven. Give me that in the book of Jude. Mm. The book of Jude, I think it's like verse 14. The yes. thousands of heaven. Go ahead. The book of Jude, verse 14. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints. With who? Of his saints. With ten thousands of his saints. Revelation 5 and 11. If y'all got any precepts, yeah, man, y'all jump in. Y'all just yeah. there. Don't be listening to me. Get loud. I got, they ain't I got, prepared. I got, I got a they didn't prepare, y'all. Here we go. Revelation we 5 one. and 11. I they ain't prepare. One. We got one. Revelation 5 and 11. Revelation chapter we'll 5 and verse out, 11. Yeah. Yep. And I beheld and I heard the voice of many angels round about the throne uh -huh. and the beasts and the elders and the number of them. And the number of these angels we just read because Christ said, I'm coming back with angels. Right. Read was 10,000 times 10,000. Man, you do the math on 10,000 times. Can somebody pull up, pull up a calculator on there and let's do 10,000 times 10,000. And then it says thousands Damn. of thousands. So that's. Six more zeros. Yeah. 10,000 times 10,000. I don't know. You know, we just do it about what it says. 10,000 times 10,000, thousand thousands. Okay, that, let's that see. That's, that's how big 10,000 <laughs> times. Whoa, whoa, wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> oh, all right, scratch it. Scratch it, man. This guy is zero. Let's go back to the scriptures, man. Hey, go back to the scriptures, man. Go, go, go ahead, Officer Dan. You drop it, man. I was saying, that, sound, that don't sound like he's coming back for a peace treaty. Right, no, right. No. That, that's not what that sounds like. Hey, when you sign, when, when you come with uh, your posse, that means you ready to. It, yeah, you, you ready, ready to go, it's down. go down. Yeah, it's about, it's about to be some smoke. Go ahead. I uh, know you got a I got one. Go yeah, ahead. Isaiah chapter 66, read verse 15. I got one right after you. Isaiah chapter 66, read verse 15, man. Isaiah chapter 66 and verse 15. For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Go ahead. To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. Read verse 16. For by fire and by his sword will the Lord plead with all flesh. That's the plead that we read in Joel. Mm. That's what he's talking about. He ain't talking about no peace treaty. He ain't coming to talk to nobody. He's coming to render judgment. That's it. Hey, Officer it. Daniel, let's see who's within those chariots. Psalm right. chapter 68 and let's read verse read 17 and let's read verse 18 because uh you know we talk about chariots those are the identical identical what, what? Huh? oh what identified i know no, it's not it's unidentified identifying, identifying flying objects oh, okay. y'all know i believe i sometimes we, I, I, we identified them yeah, <laughs> yeah we identified all praises let's just bring that out real quick come on Isaiah chapter 60, Psalm chapter 68 and verse 17. Bring it up. The chariots of God are 20,000, uh -huh. even thousands of angels. So now we see that who's within those chariots. Those chariots, it has angels. And one yeah. angel could take down a hundred and something thousand Jeez. person within Woo. a night. Right. Read. The Lord is among them. As in Sinai, in the holy place, read, thou hast ascended on high, thou hast led captivity captive. So the reason why he's bringing these angels and he's bringing his army to fight these other nations is to lead the captive captive uh, basically he's there to free his chosen people because it. right now in today's time we are enslaved but we don't know that right read right. thou hast received gifts from men Yea, for the rebellious also, that the Lord God might dwell among them. Right. That's See what they asked us to like, Hey, yeah. hey, because uh, we said, you know, that valley. Give me that one more. Revelation 19, and I want you to read verse 11. Yeah, read verse 11. Revelation 19 and 11. Revelation chapter 19 and verse 11. Yeah, let's read that. And I saw heaven open, and behold, a white horse. And he that sat upon him was called faithful and true. We go, and now remember, don't forget where we came from. We came from 2 Ezra, where it said, Ezra saw that man wax strong from the heavens with his uh, with the angels, with the thousands that were with him, right? Okay. So we see it again in the book of John. He's seeing the same vision that Ezra said. Now, you know, when somebody says something, gives you the same account of something, and it's, it's spot on with detail, that's true. That means that's true right there. They didn't talk to each other. They ain't seen each other. But they both got the same story of one incident that happened. That means that thing happened right there. That's true. That's, right? that's evidence. That's what it's called. 
uh, that holds up in a court of law. Right. Revelation 1911 again. And I saw heaven open and behold a white horse and he that sat upon him was called faithful and true faithful and true Jesus the Christ go ahead and in righteousness he doth judge and make war Christ mm. is coming back to do what judge and make war well that mm. makes sense that's the same thing that Joel said about multitudes and multitudes in the valley of decision right. tell the Gentiles right. prepare right. ye war right. what do we see the nations doing preparing war trying to get nuclear bombs buying ammunition trying to get the uh sonic uh 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 missiles. The sonic missiles that are faster than the speed of uh sound that are that can break down uh past the iron dome in jerusalem they are trying to get as many weapons they can that is god in their spirits telling them prepare ye war this is war. christ is coming back for war now jump down to verse 13 Verse 13, and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood, uh -huh. and his name is called the Word of God. And let's see who, <laughs> if he rode by himself or if he had an entourage with him. Go ahead. And the army. The who? The army. So not only are them saints mm. are angels, them angels are a part of God's army. army. They are right. warriors. They not them little, uh, they not them things. Uh, pull up the Sistine Chapel real quick for the people. Because this is what people think in their mind about angels because they've been lied to through all of this Edomite, Greek, Roman imagery. Uh, pull it up right there. Yeah. Pull it up. That's it. The Sistine Chapel. Blow it up for us. That's not what God, is, uh, Christ is coming back with, man. Them little neck and little white baby angels and women and little Peters hanging out and stuff, babe. <laughs> That's yeah, not happening. None of that looks like war or men that's ready for war. Nah. None of that. Huh? None of that at all. God said what? Uh, 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 through the mouth of Christ, Revelation 19, verse 14 again, through the mouth of John. Christ, go ahead. And the armies which were in heaven. Those are armies that are in the heavens. The angels are a part of an army. They are not coming to uh, uh, rub people on the back or, or to carry off people naked. They're not coming down naked. They're not floating in the sky naked. That's a figment of white man Christianity imagination. They are an army of God, and they roll in with the commander, the general in chief, king of kings, Jesus to Christ. Read that again, verse 14. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses. They came for the smoke, too. That's hey, right. They said, Christ, we want some of that. Go ahead. Hey, Cap, let's see why is uh, war is happening. Well, well, go, well mean, let go me ahead, finish out the script, ahead, though, man. Finish. Come on. Yeah, stay bad. with me, man. <laughs> I'm trying to stay with you. I'm just, I'm just a little bit eager. Verse 14. Follow along. Verse 14. And the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, uh -huh. white and clean. They was clean with it. Go ahead. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword that with it he should smite the nations. That's the word of God. And he shall rule them with a rod of iron. That's what Christ is going to do. There ain't going to be no uh, America and Christ's kingdom. There ain't no Russia and Christ's kingdom. That's, That's right. not happening. He's ruling all nations with a rod of iron. He's going to break somebody's damn back. Uh, go ahead, right. officer. You're right. Uh, go to Zechariah chapter 12. Zechariah chapter 12, and let's read verse 3. Then we're going back to that article after this. Go ahead. Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 3. Let's read that real quick. Zechariah chapter 12 and verse 3. Read it out. And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone. A for burdensome stone is something that's heavy to carry. Mm -hmm. The reason why Jerusalem has become a burdensome, a burdensome stone because they have parted God's land and they started calling the people the Ashkenazi Jews. Mm -hmm. They started calling themselves Israel. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Read. For all people, for everybody that's within that land, everybody that's on the earth. That's the reason why whenever you look at the, the Middle East or Israel is always in the middle of something it's right. because right. it's always because because that's because the chosen people of God ain't there and God is pulling their spirits so that way they could draw closer so they could have war. Read. Yeah. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces. You're going to be destroyed. Anybody that has anything to do with any treaty with Israel, guess what's going to happen? You're going to 
cut yourself and break yourself into pieces. You're going to be a part of the same judgment as God has for the Israeli nations or the Ashkenazi Jews. Read. Though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. God says, ain't no way that you could fight against me and my holy angels. Because why? You have chosen lies as your refuge. That's right. Uh, Now, let's go to that next part. We were talking about that, uh, the next point in that article of all the nations on the brink of war. While black people over here listen to Suki Hana and caring about who win Grammys and the damn uh, uh, Sexy Red and Twerk. So I heard heard Sexy Red had a baby and and made a video in the the hospital where she was pregnant at. Yep. Yep. Oh, Oh, mace. In the video, and and at the top of the video, it said, "Ready for the streets." Oh God! (laughs) Yeah, she did. I'm just glad the video. I'm just glad I did not see that video. I don't know how y'all seen it. Matter of fact, matter of fact, in the video, in the video, after she done had the baby, she took the baby and pretended like she dropped the baby off at her grandmother's house to go out to the streets. Right. Come on now, she's an ostrich. Destroying Destroying people, man. You got the answer for that. Pull up at the next point. Let's read that for him, officer. What would happen if World War III started? What would happen? Let's see what uh, man thinks. With the advancement of technology and modern weaponry, World War III could be the deadliest of all wars ever fought in the could, history could of be. mankind. Mm. No, it <laughs> will be. It ain't right. no could be. It will be. Here's the proof. We're going to come back to that. Isaiah chapter 34. Man, don't what nah, you get there. Give you me might that. as well, Cap. Bring it, it out. It is what it is. Bring it out. I, I Bring all two. the understanding. <laughs> Give it all. Give it to them. all. <laughs> Give it all to Give them. It to Isaiah 34, <laughs> verse 8 and 9. Isaiah chapter 34 and verse 8. And really? 10. For it is the day of the Lord's vengeance. The day of the what? The Lord's vengeance. Because it's been great evil upon the earth. Go ahead. And the year of recompenses for the controversy of Zion. What's the controversy of Zion? Whose land is it? Who's right. the real people of God? That's a controversy in the earth. God said, I'm going to send my son back to clear up all of that. Go ahead. And the streams thereof shall be turned into pitch. You're going to be turning the what? Into pitch. Into pitch. Go ahead. And the dust thereof into brimstone. Uh-huh. And the land thereof shall become burning pitch. It shall not be quenched night nor day. It's going to continue to burn forever. Go ahead. The smoke thereof shall go up forever. For how long? Forever. Forever. Go ahead. From generation to generation, it shall lie waste. None shall pass through it forever Ooh. and ever. For how long? Mm. Forever and ever. Sounds like this World War Three is going to be the most dangerous war to ever happen on the face of the earth. Right. Thus saith the Lord. So dangerous that nobody will ever be here forever and ever. Ever. Damn. I think this uh, one I want right here is in uh, Malachi. Malachi chapter 4, verse 1. All praise to the Most High. He just get jogged my memory. Give it to it's Malachi 4 and 1. <laughs> That's right. Malachi 4 and 1. This is how dangerous it is. Malachi chapter 4 and verse 1. Read it out. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. It's going to do what? Burn as an oven. Now, let's be real, everybody. Have you ever, let's ask y'all, have y'all ever opened up an oven when it, when, the food, the, the timer go off, ding, ding, ding. Oh, yeah. Yes, you got to come and course. open up the oven. Yeah, only, yes. And only you don't step to the side. <laughs> you just open it straight up. Yeah. yeah. What do you immediately feel? I feel it. Heat. 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 It come right out at you. You like, oh, you learn. Next time, what do you do? You go to the oven yeah. and you open it up it's from the side. Side. <laughs> side. You open it up from the side. God said the day that's coming on this earth for the evil they've done is going to burn like an oven. Keep reading. And all the proud, yay, and all that do wicked. Hold on, man. What is that song that they got here? They are what? Well, y'all know what that song? Y'all grew up singing it. Don't act like you did. You Judah. I know you did too, Officer Luke. I don't know what you're talking about. He's Judah. You mean to tell me y'all didn't have to sing that song called I'm Proud to Be an American? No, or at least no, 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 only when no, I'm no, getting my papers. Only when I was getting my papers. So you did, you did sing. Oh, yeah. I don't recall. <laughs> <laughs> Good denial. But it's a song that the white man got. I don't know who sung it, but it's called "I'm Proud to Be an American." Where at least I know I'm free. Read that part again. God gonna burn who? And all the proud, yay, and all that do wickedly. 
shall be stubble. God said, mm. I'm glad you made that song. Your ass has signed your ticket to the day that I'm coming back. The Lord's controversy. It's Lee Greenwood. Lee Greenwood. <laughs> you have sound. Let's play. Let's play. Pull it up. Lee Greenwood, proud to be in America. We're going to play about five seconds of it for those that might not have heard it before. Some Judah, mean. Benjamin, and, and Levi Judah down here in Florida. That's Officer yeah. Luke. Yeah. <laughs> they never heard this song. Never heard it. Hey, yep. um, yeah, good. I hope y'all just don't start reverting back to the old man based off of just listening to that song. Let's jump through it. Play it, play it, man. Come on. Oh, man, this looks really It white. looks very Edomite-ish. <laughs> yeah. A lot of flags going on, Sound guns up. and uh, flannel <laughs> <Yeah>. t-shirts. <laughs> that commercial. Like a lot, lot of mayonnaise. It, hopefully, yeah. they, hopefully there's no, no commercials. Read that it. Okay. Oh, Turn it up. Go. Turn All it up. Judah had Where to sing up? this song to be initiated. To oh, come man. To <laughs> <laughs> I can't hear it. Where we at? <laughs> Oh, it's freezing. Put it up to your fall. All right, drop that. Put it up to your fall, Officer Daniel. Drop that. This is right here. Officer Daniel. Officer Dan, Dan, you got it? And I had to start again. That's oh, it. no. no. Yep, let it play. Never heard that. <laughs> play that. Judas, stop like Jump through to this chorus, man. Boy, here this damn white man. There you go. Let it play. Yeah, Read yeah, it yeah. again, Malachi <laughs> four and one. I told y'all it was a song. Y'all didn't believe me. It's a song. <laughs> Malachi four and one. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven. To who? And all the proud. All of these damn mm. Americans gonna burn. And when I say Americans, I'm talking about Esau, I do me and eat him because he's proud to be an American. Go ahead. Yea, and all that do wickedly uh -huh. shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts, uh -huh. that it shall leave them neither Hold room. Hold on, this, is, this World War Three going to be so dangerous, it's going to what? That it shall leave them neither root nor branch. It's not going to be a, a root. That You know what it means mm. when it say root? Yeah. Roots are where? In the ground. In the ground. the ground. God going to burn the damn ground deep in the ground. He going to yeah, burn this place so bad in it. You ain't going to find no roots of trees no more. Man. Not even the branches that were on high and not even the damn roots deep in the ground. That's God right. said, I'm going to burn this place up. I'm a, what, what's it, what did Judah say? I'm going to burn this mother to the <laughs> ground. <laughs> that is a Judah proverb. That's a Judah proverb. <laughs> yeah, I'm going right, to burn cap. this mother to the ground. You don't give me my check. Hey, Cap, back then, <laughs> the way that we fought wars was like this. Officer Luke, I know you got the precept. You yeah. No, no, no. Hold on. Okay, okay, we got to okay, go back okay. to the article. Let's yeah, go back right. to it. I did too much on that. Go ahead, man. Uh, the next paragraph is what? It is predicted that in the event of a nuclear war between the U.S. and Russia, an estimated 99% of the population Damn. in the belligerent countries as well as Europe and China would die. Now check this out. 99% of them are going to die here in this place. What's the 1% that's going to be left? Mm. Israel. Israelites. Israel. We go. Right. Yeah. God says it's the one third. Mm. He says it's the 1%. We gone, y'all. Read that next part. Yeah, Other attacks cool. across the globe could result in catastrophic events, upending the structure of society completely. Now, play that video of a, uh, 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 a nuclear scientist describing what happens when a nuclear bomb hits. Yeah. Go ahead. All right, my dudes, buckle up, because I'm about to tell you exactly what would happen in the event of a nuclear attack, which is something that the media will never tell you. I'm going to rely on the words of my colleague, Dr. Ira Helfand here, because he puts it so clearly and there's no need for me to try to improve on that. So I'm going to describe to you the effects specifically like the humanitarian, the medical effects of a 20 megaton bomb exploding over Boston. Wow. We're both based in Boston. So that's the example, but obviously you can abstract that to any city. And so just just a little background, a megaton is a million tons of TNT. So the bomb that destroyed Hiroshima was about 12.5 kilotons or 12.5 thousand tons of TNT. So this weapon that we're talking about 
today is roughly 1,700 times more powerful. Ooh. Stay with me Shoot. because the size of nuclear bombs today has evolved from the 1960s so that they are smaller but more accurate. So in reality, an attack on Boston today uh, would involve not this one 20 megaton huge bomb, but probably 10 to 15 smaller weapons. So even if the total megatonnage was actually less, the explosive force would be spread out more efficiently across the metropolitan area. So in that case, the actual destruction would be even greater than what I'm about to describe now. Esau got Still, it's a lot death. easier to conceptualize ahead, one play. big explosion rather than lots of small ones. So even though the destruction that I'm about to describe is likely an underestimation of what would actually happen, it still gives an adequate sort of approximation of the effects. So here we go. Within words. one one thousandth of a second, Pause a fireball... It. One one thousandth of a Jeez. second. That's before you can blink your damn eye. She got in she the time you down. can blink your eyes. You got to break down a second, Cap. One one thousand. Damn. Yeah, <laughs> break down <laughs> a really? second. Break down a second. That's like Esau with them damn gas. The gas is three ninety nine and nine tenths of a penny. <laughs> you damn devil. <laughs> <laughs> but they breaking down the time. One one thousandth of a second. What's gonna happen? A fireball will will do what? Would form. form reaching out for two miles in every direction. Pause. Damn, damn. Two miles. Jeez. One one thousandth of a second. A fireball in every direction. Wow. Two miles. You know how long it take you to drive two miles, Cap? Yeah. <laughs> that's hey, instant. Go. Hey, Cap, but that's just like you know how Christians say, "I'll repent when the Lord returns." Oh, you hey, ain't repent. You ain't got time. <laughs> you ain't got time. <laughs> you ain't got time. <laughs> damn. You done. <laughs> Go ahead. Let it play miles across. Temperatures would rise to 20 million degrees Fahrenheit Woo! and everything. Pause it. Still that's that oven. 20, that's that oven. Jeez. 20 million degrees. Yo, okay. How hot uh -huh. is 20 million? What could 20 million degrees do to a human body? Mm. Can somebody give me that in yeah. the book of Zachariah? Sometimes right. we don't, bring it out. Nobody bring it out. wants to bring find out. Bring, bring it out. out. Bring it out. That's, that's, uh, you know what that, that is with us, what I'm thinking? That temperature not even on you. Um, that's us. That, that You know how we say a hard head make a soft ass. Right. Mm. A hard head gonna make some damn melted eyeballs. <laughs> Read that. Zechariah 14, verse 12. Bring it out. A Zechariah. hard head gonna melt your damn eyeballs. Mm. <laughs> Read that. Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 12. Yep. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. That goes back to what officer was talking about, right? Uh, it's a burdensome stone. Go ahead. Their flesh shall consume away. In what? By how? How hot would it be? 20 million degrees. Damn. Go ahead. While they stand upon their feet. One one thousandth of a second flesh gone. Go ahead. And their eyes shall consume away in their holes. Uh -huh. And their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. A hard head gonna make some melted eyeballs. <laughs> T-shirt that, babe. Uh, go back to the video. <laughs> Temperatures would rise to 20 million degrees Fahrenheit, and everything, buildings, trees, cars, people, would be vaporized. Vaporized. <laughs> to a distance of four miles in every direction, the blast would produce pressures of 25 pounds per square inch and winds in excess of 650 miles per hour. Wow. Forces of this magnitude can destroy essentially anything that we build as human beings, uh. including reinforced concrete and steel structures. That's no Even building. Deep underground stand. bomb shelters None. would be crushed That's the aftershock. to a distance yeah. of six yeah. miles in every direction the heat would still be intense enough to me melt sheet metal sheet metal and to a distance of 10 miles in every direction the blast wave would create pressures of seven to ten pounds per square inch and winds of 200 miles per hour you did. To a distance of at least 16 miles in every direction, the heat would ignite all easily flammable materials. Stop. So that means 16 miles out, if you got a propane tank in your backyard, gone. that's going to explode. You got uh, air conditioners in your back, exploding. Everything is done. That's oh. what now you understand when God's in Malachi 4, it's going to burn as the oven. There shall not be a twig or a root left we got stuff down here that's going to keep the fire burning mm. after the bomb drops car blowing up everything that's what it says gone. that it's the smoke shall go up forever and mm. 
ever. And it's coming because these nations are preparing for World War III to meet Jesus in the Valley of Jehoshaphat. And some of them are ready for this yeah. place to go. I'm yeah. telling y'all, they only tolerate Babylon the Great right. because God blessed them with the art of war. And God wants to, his son, Jesus the Christ, to destroy this place. But pull up that article and look at how the other nations feel about this place known as Babylon the Great in the Bible. Pull it up. Read, it up. Read that. From Newsbreak. Those who wanted to take Kiev in three days now want to destroy the United Don't States. destroy who? The Jeez. United States completely. Uh-huh. In one hour. In what? Damn. One hour. In one hour. They went biblical. Like biblical. Like they, went they went biblical. They went biblical. Say what? Revelation 17. Real Bring quick. it out. Bring it biblical, man. The Bring other nations... Out. European Union, these are nations that only tolerate Babylon the Great. They don't love this place. They have stretched their democracy too far. Mm. And they and those that uh was at peace with them at first, they have deceived the oh, Edom. Damn. Revelation 17, verse 16. Revelation chapter 17 and verse 16. Uh -huh. And the ten horns. Which thou sawest upon the beast. Those are NATO and the other European countries. Go ahead. These shall hate the whore. They're going to do what? They hate the whore. They hate this whore called Babylon. They hate this place. They only tolerate it because they getting money from it. But Anybody you get money from, if you don't like them, you'll deal with them. Hey, we do it with our job. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Right. We'll deal yeah. with them. You don't like them. But you get money from them, so you tolerate them. Mm. That's going to come to an end, and we see it happening in the article. They want to destroy this place. They said in one hour, they shall hate the whore. Read on. And shall make her desolate and naked, and shall eat her flesh uh -huh. and burn her with fire. With what? Burn her with fire. Now we know how hot that fire going to be. Damn. Million degrees. And that's just, that's just that bomb. That, they can make bombs that are hotter than that, mm. faster than that, bigger than that. I mean, something called Satan 2 got to be pretty Satan hot. Satan yeah, got to be real hot. got to be hot. It got to be used. Revelation <laughs> chapter 18. Revelation chapter 18. And I want you to read uh, verse 8 down to 10. Revelation chapter 18 and verse 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day. One day. That's the day of the Lord that we read about in Malachi. We read about in Isaiah. Go ahead. Death and mourning and famine. And she shall be utterly burned with fire. Utterly burned. That means everything's going up in flames. Go ahead. For strong is the Lord God who judgeth her. Read on. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and lived deliciously with her. That's what we're talking about. They got money with her. Yeah, they lived right. deliciously off of this beast, off of this great whore. Go ahead. Shall bewail her and lament for the her. Mo the money gone now. Yeah. <laughs> the money gone up in smoke. <laughs> damn, dog. Check I gone. didn't like her, but damn, we used to get yeah, money yeah, with her. Yeah, money. <laughs> Go ahead. When they shall see the smoke of her burning. Standing afar off for the fear of her torment, saying, Alas, alas, that great city Babylon, that mighty city. That mighty city that nobody could take down by themselves. Go ahead. For in one hour. In what? Mm. In one hour uh -huh. is thy judgment come. So what the uh, um, uh, European nations are hoping Dang. for? Jesus is going to answer their prayer <laughs> on that day. That day hey. is going to be the day that Jesus hears the prayer of all you Edomites that hate the great whore. He right. will burn it up in an hour for you. Dang. Gone. Can't tell me the Bible ain't true, bro. Give me that uh, next article, because we said they want it in an hour. They Look, you can see the frustrations coming out. You don't get what you're asking for. Read, Read that. that. From the New York Post. Honey. BBC staffer brands Jewish people, Nazis, uh, and parasites. And parasites. Calls white people a virus. Call them who? A virus. A what? A Damn. virus. Uh -huh. In disturbing social media posts. Man, what do you do with viruses? You take medicine, you get rid of it. That's what you got to eliminate. You got to get rid of a virus. You can't live with a virus. You can't have a piece of life. Go ahead. What's the medicine, Cap? I'm just very it's curious. Fire. We yeah, already know fire. Fire. <laughs> fire. fire. I'm just fire. Fire. Fire is the only medicine that can get rid of this Edomite. So Jesus, not the answer. Hey, real talk, though. Check that. That's how you get rid of What do they say with viruses? You're supposed to do what to them? Sweat them out. Yeah, sweat them out. With heat. Fire. 
<laughs> God is amazing. Our people know. These nations know. And this was, I think this was either an East Indian woman or maybe a black woman that was in London. She is sick of Amalek mm. and sick of Esau. Damn. Damn. Amalek is Esau, but she's sick of the Edomites that are over here. Said, man, they are virus on this earth. They let you know. She knows that them people, them e- e- Jewish people she see, them's white folk. Yeah. Them ain't, right. They want, oh, I'm just, no, I mean, no, your ass is white to everybody. <laughs> that's who you are. They're a virus that you got you to gotta sweat viruses out with heat. You got to put the heat on you. You got to get up under the covers. That's right. Mm-hmm. You can't live with a virus. You can't have a, a, a peaceful life. It'll drive you crazy. You could die from a virus. You got to get away from it. <laughs> now, now, this is how I want y'all to open up your spiritual eyes, man. The Lord is laying the breadcrumbs for us, and he's putting the wisdom in the mouth of the prophets, the bishops, the deacons, the captains, the officers, the soldiers to go out and give you this medicine and even bring videos to you to connect the dots of the scriptures. They are virus, right? Pull up the next video. We we saw this before, but it fits so perfect with that article before. Edomites are a virus. Play it. Contribute. Say something. You want me to say something? <laughs> Go ahead. Talk your talk. Speak something. your truth. That's all. You. You people. Mm. You're not a race. Mm. You are a virus. Oh, damn. You destroy the world. Damn. Everything beautiful, you poison. Mm. You drag us from our homes. You rape our daughters, murder our sons. You crack our spines and do all you can to break our will. You stab us. Then you put the knife in our hand and tell us it's our fault. And if you don't do it yourself, you stand by, close your eyes, and pretend there's nothing wrong. Mm, damn. And then you pray to your God to silence our screams so that you can enjoy the happiness that we built for you with our blood. Remove black history from school. But it's not your fault. It's the only way you know how to be. Ooh. And the only thing that will change anything is if another virus comes along. Ah, uh, fire! Jesus right. Christ! What you do to us? Ah, uh, double! Render to her and double! I hope that happens. It is. Thus saith the Lord. Very soon. Boom! It's coming. Soon. Man. That day of the Lord is coming like a thief in the night. And when it does, give me that in Revelation 6, verse 15. When yeah. that day of the Lord comes soon like a thief in the night, because God is preparing all nations for war. Revelation chapter 6, verse 15. Revelation chapter 6 and verse 15. And the kings of the earth and the great men and the rich men and the chief captains and the mighty men and every bond man and every free man hid themselves in the dens and in the rocks of the mountains. They try to go down deep where the roots be at. <laughs> but they didn't know that, the, that God said, I'm going to destroy where the roots are too. <laughs> go ahead. Verse 16. And said to the mountains and rocks, fall on us and hide us from the face of him that sitteth on the throne. Jesus the Christ, who is that? Go ahead. And from the wrath of the Lamb. From the who? Of the Lamb. The wrath of the Lamb. He ain't coming back with lollipops and flip-flops. Mm. He coming back with wrath, and he got an entourage that's deep that's coming back for war. That's Verse 17. For the great day of his wrath is come. It is come. It is coming soon. Read. And who? shall be able to stand. Not even America's going to stand when Christ touched down. That's this right. place going to be gone. Thus saith the Lord. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is community. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation 
nation is you. And finally, my brother, be strong in the Lord. His word, his word.